Police Pilot Stormcog. Rendomi reporting for duty. Greetings. Rendomi. The Alliance has made new requests for Nomenagon's might in the coming war. It is my honor to inform you that Captain Spark Nuzzle wishes for your expert assistance in the matter. You're hereby requested to meet him in New Tinkertown. You have a great day now. Poor Nomenagon. The rest of the gnomes are requested to arrive shortly before you. Allow me to brief you on the situation. The leaders of the Alliance have agreed to fund an elite gnomish aerial task force. And you have been chosen to lead the test team for the gnomish elite aerial rangers. I've assembled some of the finest tinkers and soldiers from Nomenagon who are now under your command. The three of them are already here in New Tinkertown. Introduce yourself and assemble them. Get your gear going. Good to see you, Commander. What's our current trajectory? Hello. Need something? She called me Commander. Hello. Need something? Isn't he beautiful? I've been working on various modifications to Mechatorg's newest Mechano Strider plans in hopes of making him even more useful. So far, I've been able to reduce shock damage of long distance jumps to the accelerator by 20% and set the headlights and luminosity to control and automatically respond to the current lights. Right now, I'm testing out a new coat of paint pigments to provide better isolation. The gnome continues on for a few minutes. Oh, sorry. I'm also Tinker Fizzy. I was one of Mechatorx's many assistants. It's an incredible honor to be chosen for this opportunity. I've got a gadget for every occasion. I've really been looking forward to this. I can't wait to get started. Sweet. Who else wants to join my party? Reporting for duty. Do we have a mission? <laughs> we are go for launch. Awaiting orders. We are go for launch. Reporting for duty. Do we have a mission? Awaiting orders. There you are, Commander. Herrick Winklespring reporting for duty. I was Captain of Mechatorx's personal squadron, serving directly under the high tinker himself. It's an honor to work with you. For the Alliance. You can count on me, Commander. Always ready to fly. <laughs> I never miss a shot. So you're the one every gnome around here has been talking about. She extends her hands. Emity, Emity Autoblast, sharpshooter and scout for the 7th Legion. If you need anything related to explosions, I'm your gnome. <laughs> I like to think I'm a pretty good shot, too. I'll be waiting. Excited to be working with you, Commander. All right, team assembled. Got a Do we have a mission? Something? Report. Time to give you all your briefing. An elite aerial unit wouldn't be complete without the newest innovations in flying machine technology. There's just one small problem. The innovative new engine we built was left behind when we evacuated Nomenagon. We need a prototype. We want these bombers to safely get off the ground. Find a prototype within the engineering labs of Nomenagon. You are Nomenagon's finest soldiers. Paragons of Nomanity. The best examples of gnomish ingenuity and determination. And so, you four will be the first to take to the skies as gnomish aerial elite rangers and... Elite aerial rangers, sir. Excuse me, soldier? You said aerial elite rangers, which would be G-A-E-R. If you wanted G-E-A-R... I know what I said! Anyway... You are the first gnomish elite aerial rangers, and you will show us around everything we gnomes can accomplish. Ah, still working hard on uh, getting Nomenagon fixed up. Of course, the history of Nomenagon will be once upon a time they were dealing with a trog infestation, <laughs> and their king was convinced by Sicko Fermapluck, his bestest buddy in the whole world. That they should just gas the place. And it was gonna be fine. People could just lock the doors. The gas wouldn't do anything to them. Um, but it turned out that Sicko lied. And even what Sicko had calculated, like how many people would die, even those numbers were far higher than even he expected. As well as it didn't really kill the trucks, it just made them pissed off. So from that moment on, they lost Nomenagon and a whole bunch of their people. And they've been trying to take it back ever since. Why would you trust someone named Sicko? Testing. One, yeah. two, three. Can you hear me, Commander? Uh huh. Looks like your communication device is working, Tinker. Commander, the last gnomes to visit this wing were my own unit on their way to Sector 17. Watch out for any steam pipes or gnome bots in disrepair. I nearly died there. <laughs> 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 I really died there. 
Sorry, my bad. Hang on. I got this. Don't worry about it. I'm a pro gamer. I know how these things work. Look at the DPS, though. Oh, fear me, baby. Now, of course, I am a rogue, so I could just do this. Oh, wait. They poisoned me. There we go. All right. Let's be a little bit safer. Just a wee bit. Mythic tier mechanics here. Yeah, man. I mean, it explains fully why I'm failing at them. All right, made it to the door. Checkpoint. <gasps> Lasers. Oh, dear. Uh-oh. Um... I'm already almost dead. What? Oh dear, I'm pushing all the wrong buttons though. Don't I have like a regeneration ability? I don't remember, do I? Uh, yeah. This heals me over time. Cool, cool. Uh-oh. Oh no. Not again. Nope, nope, nope. Ah, no, not again. Why do you hurt so much though? What is my gear? Well, I am, oh, well, I am 238. It, it, it might explain a little bit. There we go. Oh, okay. Yep, here we go. I got this, man. Don't worry about it. I know exactly what I'm doing. See? Easy. <laughs> <laughs> Easy. Phew. You gotta lead the rats to the robots? Nah. You just kill them. Easy. Excuse me. Coming through. Okay. Y'all ready for this? It's gonna be magnifique. Shop. The engine should be on the other side of the room. Uh -huh. But I don't detect my old combat suit. How odd. Could your old combat suit be that puppy over there? <gasps> Look at how close that was. Oh, wow. Okay. Can I sap you? Don't think I can. Was I a g g g g g g b b b b boy? Nope, you were the worst. I mean, no, I was told you were the best. Intruder alert! Intruder alert! Uh oh. I think I think we gotta go. There was a robot sound. You already sent out a team, did you? Excellent. I've seen Tinkerbell and Autoblast ahead to prepare for the engine for installation. Well, you were the Nomenagon. We retreat the distress signal from Fitzcrank Airstrip and Borean Tundra. This seems like the perfect opportunity to show off what gear can do. I've sent the rest of your squad ahead. Meet them out there. Awaiting orders. Oh, Commander. We arrived shortly before you. The airmen here just finished explaining the situation. It's a good day to fly. What's our current trajectory? The gnomes here reported trucks came down from the north and started attacking every gnome and everything. So now it's... Every gnome and blah. So now it's our job to fix the situation. And luckily, I have the perfect plan for it. We need to calibrate the bomber's gun. And doing so on the ground is much less risky than up in the air. Give it a go. There's always room to tinker. Look, even here there are trucks running amok. Die, trucks. If only we had this weapon when they invaded Nomragon. We'd be well good. 
Oh, snap. What did I just do? Is that going to be an exploding chicken? That's an exploding chicken. I love it. That's what I was talking about. The trogs in the area seem to have been dealt a serious blow. Car Captain Winkle Springs' voice springs to life over your personal communication system. Oh, one of our recon pilots did a scouting run over the station. She reported that there seems to be a trog on the top level that is larger and smarter than the others. He somehow managed to get one of the defender tanks for the station working in his favor. Take him out. Smart being a relative term, of course. It's gonna go up here. Excuse you. I am a gnome on a mission. Tell me, how did you get that thing to work? Small ones that smash other small ones. Do the thing! Do the thing! Here, have a chicken. Chicken go boom. Oh dear. There we go. Small ones and more. Broke communication device. A constant beeping noise is the only sound coming from the speaker. Good to see you, Soon Commander. Know. Have you found out anything? A constant beeping noise is the only sound coming from the device. The big truck was holding this. I think I have an idea. If I just attach the core to this input module here, amplify the match frequency here, Tinkerbell mumbles a few more things while she attaches the communication device to the console. Flip the switch, Commander. Just make sure it's the right one. The left one is the self-destruct switch. Or was that reverse? Looking forward to the next test flight. And three, two, one. I don't hear any more noise. I do hope that means you smashed the intruder, you foolish brute. Kelzo Spark Spanner. It can't be. You know that ugly mug cut, Captain? He was one of Thermoplug's assistants. But no one has heard from him since the Nomragon incident. Where's that signal coming from, Tinkerbell? We need to hurry. Oh no. It is Telzo Spark Spanner. Everybody knows Telzo. Oh no. So yeah, he's a new character that they designed for this quest line. Apparently he was working together with uh Sicko. Hello. Give me just a second to trace the origin of the signal. It looks like the signal is being transmitted from the storm peaks. Time to put these flying machines to work. I'll keep track of the signal on route in order to get a cleaner read. Time to get to work. Yeah, okay. We all jumping in? We all good to go? Alrighty. Let's go. All systems ready. Let's fly. Spark Spanner always was an odd one. Can't imagine what he has planned. Imagine no longer, simpleton. I am more than willing to tell you how you and your little crew will meet your demise. Spark Spanner, so you did survive Nomragon. Did you really think that I, the great Thermoplug second in command, would die in a scheme I helped engineer? You what? What could you possibly have hoped to accomplish? Recognition. And what did we get? A fool of a gnome sweeping in and reaping the rewards of all our work. All those who followed Mechatork must pay. With my army of trucks, I will decimate all of nomanity. That vile, devilish gnome. Tell so, Spark Spanner. You and I have come to blows many times in the past, but today... Today this must end. For all of no manity. <laughs> all five Commander, of no manity. the signal tracker is going haywire. I'll need some time to recalibrate it. Find a safe spot to land. We'll cover you while you adjust the device. Yeah, okay. Get safely now. No crash landing, please. So like I said, that guy's never really been mentioned to be part of Sicko's plans, but apparently he was. Makes you wonder if there were more out there. It's not impossible, of course, he's just added lore to it. We are go for launch. I've set up a cloaking device that will cover our current location. We should be safe for now. 
We need <laughs> chest. <laughs> we, we need to get Tinkerbell some cover while he figures out a new trajectory. The cock captain hands you a miniature spider tank. It may not look like much, but this is a fully functional spider tank. You just need to de-shrinkify it, use it to distract the trogs down there by thinning their numbers. On your mark, Commander. De-shrinkify the assault tank. All right. What will they come up with next? That's handy. It's like town in the box, only for a tank. And now we burn them all, yeah? With blue flames, neato. And done. Right. The tracker is working again, Commander. Oh. We've moved closer to the signal source and are awaiting your orders. Oh my god. Give me this jetpack thingy. Helicopter pack, whatever you want to call it. At all times, please. Can you, can you let me make this with engineering? Please. Please. Look at it. Look out below, no miss flying in the sky. All right, we also got an electricity grid set up. No trogs will be hurting us today. Reporting for duty. Glad you found your way here safely, Commander. Tinkerbell has finished installing the guns on our flying machine, so it's time to give them a trial by fire. We got confirmation that our target is in fact within the halls of stone. Let's start clearing out the forces in front. We'll take the earliest opportunity to bring the fight to Spark Spanner. Yeah. The skies are clear. Aw, uh, I don't get to go with auto blast. Boo. Careful, Commander. The Titan facility's exterior defenses may have been rewired to see us as intruders. Worry not, Tinker. I am an excellent pilot. I'll keep that in mind when we get shot out of the sky, Cog Captain. Uh, I like her. I like her too. She can, she can stay. So all these trogs have been gathered here under the great leadership of a lepronome, yeah? So once upon a time where the trogs were like the greatest enemy, now they've formed an army. And of course for gnomes, the simplest thing, like a rat for example, can be a great problem. So trogs, that's like fighting five rats or something. And here, uh, we also have Mimiron's workshop. Uh, Mimiron didn't always look like he's one of the Titan Keepers for Uldabar. You might remember the giant gnome robot. He didn't always look that way. That only happened after Loken attacked him and then his little mecha gnome scattered him up and uh, gave him a new body. So that's the area where we're playing around in now. All right, going in for more. Excuse me. It's got freaking entire army here. Cool to our defense constructs. Damn. I think we dealt with enough of them. Time for the end game. We are go for launch. It is time to bring down Spark Spanner. Just give the word and I'll turn the machine straight towards the House of Stone. Let's go. It's a good day to fly. Hit. Hold on to something. This is going to be a bumpy landing. Why are you heading all over the place for the quest? Because we're trying to track down this uh, evil gnome. Dastardly gnome. And what they try to do with the heritage armor is they try to make connections to the past, right? To your heritage. And in this case, the Gnomish heritage is connected to Ulduar and uh, Mimiron. Are these brutes supposed to be there? I don't think so. Oh no. We gotta do more fighting. Awaiting orders. Oh dear. Okay. I will give it my all. On your mark, Commander. I know. We got this. Like, this is, um, the Forge of Wills is the machine that was infected by Yaxaron, which eventually gave, um, some of the Titans Keeper's creations the Curse of Flesh. The Curse of Flesh is the thing that's, um, devolved them, sort of say. 
It made them weaker, more vulnerable to the corruption of the old gods. It literally gave them flesh, which is the reason why races like the Mechanomes became the gnomes. Races like the Vraiku became the humans. Stuff like that. All right. Uh, let's go. This will leave you ecstatic. Be mindful of your conduct. Oh no. Oh. Oh no. <laughs> I'm dead. I am so dead I'm right now. Acting in self-defense. Need healing. I need healing. Leave you ecstatic. When you try so hard and you don't succeed. Be mindful of your conduct. Be mindful of your conduct. Nope. 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 Oh no. I'm acting in self-defense. Die. You fools. The Titan defenses are already under my control. The loss of my mech means nothing. You will But why did I die though? <laughs> but why did I die? So yeah, if, if you might have missed it because of my untimely demise, his robot actually crushed him. Yeah, I checked combat log. It, it just says that I was melee hit and that was it. Do we have a mission? Is everyone all right? Our Tinker can set up a medic bot if necessary. You think you're funny, little man? You think you're funny? Hey. I could take you. That was a close one, but we managed to defeat Spark Spanner. No man in Tien Azeroth are safe from a threat they didn't even know about. Hopefully that's the last time we'll hear from any of Firmaplug's old goons. We should return to Captain Spark Nozzle. He will want a 40 points. All right, Captain. Mission accomplished. And not a single soul died. Report! At attention, soldier. Rangers, you have more than proven gnomish aerial might. The Alliance will no doubt call upon gear in the future. But first, every elite unit requires a proper uniform. Wear the colors of Gnome Ragon with pride, Ranger. Um, were the other rangers supposed to be here? Or is Captain Spark Nozzle just old? Punches, punches, lucky doos and root. All oh, right. Well, friend of the Grummels. And here we have it. A decked out gnome in the Gnome Regan Heritage Armor. Shall I also take off the tabards? Just, you know. So you can behold it in its full glory. Although it actually looks better with the tabard, have to admit. Oh, them shoulder pads, though. I like it. I actually like this outfit a lot as well. Need to sort out some weapons at some point. Look at the little boots. The little metal boots. Ah, it's so cute. Basically what happens if you look like, normally you pick up by uh, a griffin or whatnot, but now you use your whistle and what comes to pick you up, hell yeah. And that's it. That, that what goes on there, which I, I find really, really cool. Upgraded flight whistle. So yeah, that is indeed the gnomish heritage armor. Look at her, man. She needs some more sleep, though. My poor little gnome. She's a wee bit tired.